Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here, back with some more versus action. I'm playing FM20 Touch. I'm in the FMPL's Cup competition, the League Cup semi final. We are Sheffield United and we are taking on Michelinio's QPR, Queen's Park Rangers. So a championship team has made it to the semi final. What can we do here? Can we make it to the final? We had a big victory in the quarter final against Newcastle, 5 0. Let's see what we can do today. Well, I've settled on a team now. Uh, this team has been slightly improved in the Premier League. We got a victory against Burnley in the latest round of fixtures. We then lost to them in the second game. But don't worry about that. It's a 4-4-2 counter-attacking formation. We've got a target man. We've got a pressing forward. We've got our wing backs. We've got our sweeper keeper and our wingers. This is the best formation I've got. So let's have a look at my opponents lining up with a 4-2-3-1 against our classic 4-4-2. Let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. Let's kick this thing off. Michelinio, of course, QPR championship team, so they're not involved in the Premier League, so a bit of an unknown quantity for me. Uh, I kind of had an indication in the previous rounds of Burnley and Newcastle what their form was like and what we were likely to do against them. But, um, first chance coming up here, and it's QPR with the throw-in, first highlight. But we dispossess them. This is where we're good. Quick transition from defence to attack. Germain coming with the rebound, and it's a goal inside 10 minutes. We're 1-0 up. Oh no, we've got an injury early on. It's Norwood out, so I'm going to have to bring on a sub. Uh, do we go with Sparv or Lundstrom? I'm going with Lundstrom, because um, he can play that box-to-box -box midfielder role. That will have to do for now. Okay, we're up to 20 minutes now, so just that one highlight so far, and just that one goal, but here comes another one, QPR swinging in the kick, oh my god, how did that go in, but no, it's been disallowed, offside, yes, Osai Samuel did seem to make that run rather early, bit of confusion in the defence though, that's not good, if they're going to panic us like that, oh, and we nearly give the ball away there. But now we've got it with Bulldog. Bulldog coming forward down the right. He's a very good attacking fullback, is Bulldog. But he's been dispossessed by Pook. Sorry, we seem to have a bit of lag in the game there. It does happen every so often on touch. Uh, Lundstrom, though, plays it through. Beautiful through ball to McGoldrick. McGoldrick should have buried that. Should have made it 2-0. Well, we've had a lot of action. Sudden burst of action. Disallowed goal. Very good chance for us. After that early lead, here comes... Oh, Lundstrom skips past his man beautifully, beautifully. And oh, what the hell was that, Lundstrom? Okay, we got to the half-hour mark now, and a new highlight. Lundstrom driving forward, but he gets dispossessed. Oh, he's had a bit of a mixed bag, hasn't he, Lundstrom, since coming on? He's He's been involved in the play a lot, but he's, he's given it away a bit as well. But we got it out to Bulldog now. Beautiful play. Back to Unas. Germain couldn't get the shot off. It was charged down, but we've still got the ball. We've still got them under pressure. I think we're playing well, but the thing we've got to watch out for is half-time, because that's the point when my opponent, Michelinio, will be doing his mastermind moves I think and trying to switch up his tactics possibly uh, but no it's 1-1 one, one. we're going to go in 1-1 one, one. I spoke too soon I was talking like uh, getting a bit ahead of myself and talking like we were going to go in a goal ahead it's actually 1-1 one, one. and we got another injury it's Freeman with a thigh injury it's a knock though I don't have another left winger in my squad so that is bad news for us and then of course we have to play a load of injury time don't we well, it's been even. It's been even. If you look at the statistics, they've edged possession. They've dominated in the yellow cards, but the chances have been pretty even so far. Just have a quick look at the analysis. I mean, the heat map is not actually showing us a lot. Um, I think the balls seems to have spent a lot of time in the air. Just check out the summary here. So, Contro, two mistakes already. Unas hasn't put many passes together. Lots of mistakes from Freeman, who hasn't managed to get a cross in either. That's not very good. And McGoldrick has only had the one shot on goal. So we're obviously lacking a bit of penetration here. Let's have a look at the tactics. What can we do? Um, we're going to stay on attacking as we're drawing. I might have dropped it down a little bit. Otherwise, we'll take off focus play down the left. We'll, we'll get it more down the right because we want to give um, we want to give our guy a bit of a break there. I'm going to put in play for set pieces as well. So we'll we'll keep it with going to the target man with our distribution. Um, yeah, we'll keep everything else the same and get out there for the second half. We're going to take a bit of a risk with Freeman here. Anyway, 
Second half, let's see what this will hold. I do feel like we started the game much better, but QPR look dangerous. They they can score at any time. I think we're pretty evenly matched, actually. Uh, QPR, obviously, one of the well, one of the better known, one of the better reputation championship teams. Uh, I don't know how FM rates them. I haven't played in the championship much, certainly in the early years uh, of a save. I don't tend to look at the Premier League or the championship that much. Um, but Sheffield United, you know, they are a bit underpowered in a football manager this year. Down at the bottom of the Premier League, we are down at the bottom of the football manager Premier League competition. So maybe we're fairly evenly matched with QPR. Anyway, here comes Germain with a chance. Oh, just wide. That was so close to 2-1, but a very good move. That's the kind of attacking play we like to see. I think I'm going to make a substitution in a minute. We'll have a look at what we can do about Freeman. But anyway, the ball goes out to him, to Quantro. He gets it up to McGoldrick. That's a good use of the target man. Egan knocks one forward to Germain, but uh, we've won it back again. Lundstrom turns his man nicely. Come on, get yourself in the game. Germain, yes, it's been disallowed. Oh, offside. I don't know. That was marginal at best. It looked pretty close to me. But anyway, we've got about... 25 minutes to go. In this first leg, remember, this is the League Cup semi-final, so there will be two legs. That's what the game's been set up for. Um, I guess we're going to follow English League Cup rules if it's somehow level after the two legs. Oh, dearie me, that should have been a goal for QPR. Headed straight at the keeper, if you just put that either side of the keeper. Would have been a certain goal. Penalty! Penalty it is indeed. Bit of shirt tugging in the box. 20 minutes to go. A chance to restore our lead. And it's Fleck with the ball. And it's been saved. I don't believe it. Oh, dear. He made this cup semi-finals. Got everything. Anyway, the highlight continues with the corner. Can we get something from this? Quite often in FM, you don't get something when you get a corner after a very good chance. You don't get anything from it, but you might get hit on the break. And here they come. Oh, the tackle. The tackle. The second tackle gets the ball, but we've not cleared the danger. Come on, Sheffield United. Get it out of there. We've put it out for a corner. Highlight continues. It's high drama here as both teams seek to leave this first leg with an advantage. It's being played at Wembley inside FM Touch. Technically, QPR are the home team. So we'll treat this like we're the away side for now. Ah, oh, dearie me. Freeman knocks it in. Here it comes back out to Unas. We're in a dangerous position. Come on, do something here, guys. Lundstrom out to O'Connell. O'Connell to Freeman. McGoldrick. Unas. Unas has powered past this man. How did he miss? How did he miss? Right, so I brought on Kieran Freeman as left back and I've pushed Contro into midfield. I think that's the best thing for us to do for now. And I'm thinking, let's get someone on for McGoldrick. So McBurney's coming on. He's the man. Let's get back into it. Our final two substitutions. QPR have made a couple of substitutions as well. Everyone's putting their dice out on the table. Cards are face up as we enter this final 10 minutes. And it's a chance for QPR. I do not like the looks of this, but Baldock wins the ball back. But he gives it away. He should have played that down the line. Don't play it into the centre of the park. Play it down the flank. Anyway, never mind. We've got the break. Unas through now. Can he score this time? No, it's saved. It's gone out for a corner. Let's see if we can get something here. There's not long left now. Seven minutes plus stoppage time. The ball goes, goes to the goalkeeper. Kelly. Oh, lots of drama here. Henderson now. We've got a final chance, maybe, to get something. Final... Oh, oh, that's a red card, surely. Wallace hacks down Germain. He was already on a yellow. That is a straight red. Surely a straight red. Right then, final five minutes. QPR have made their tactical changes. What's going to happen now? Are they going to pull one out of the bag? Can we sneak a winner here? McBurney plays it to Fleck. He's got a man in the middle, but he doesn't use him. Fleck powers it in powers that one he picked his spot and we are two one up have is is that late enough is that late enough to get the win we've definitely dominated in the second half are qpr going to get back into this now or, or are they going to push for an equalizer or are they going to hold out for doing something in the second leg 
and pinning us back then. We've got a chance now. It's McBurry. McBurry's through, and it's another goal. McBurney. I called him McBurry. McBurney makes it 3-1. The sending off has turned this game. It's turned this semi-final around. We're into stoppage time. Are we going to hold on here for the victory? I think we are. Yes, we are. All right, then, we're back for the second leg. We had to restart the game under the competition rules. If there are injuries or suspensions, and we had both, you then start a new game so they don't carry over to the second leg. That's the way the competition's been set up. You can check that out. I'll pop a link down in the description. All right, just one change for me from last time. I'm starting with Lundström. Norwood goes to the bench. I've also brought in Bakali as a left winger, or someone who can play on the left or the right in case we get another similar injury to last time. Right, so a slightly different lineup this time. We've got an asymmetric 4-4-2 from our opponents, QPR. Let's see what they're bringing to the table this time. Obviously, they've got to kind of go for it. They've got to get two goals to get back in to it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I've stuck with my formation because it, it worked fairly well last time. Hopefully, they'll be open. So if they're open and attacking, that's going to give us a chance to counter-attack and be attacking as well and maybe sneak a goal. Having said that, we've got through pretty much quarter of an hour of the game with no highlights. Right then, first chance here. Germain heads over. I don't know what's going on with that angle. Let me just check. We're on the data analyst angle for some reason. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Sometimes FM Touch just randomly sets things like that. Anyway, we changed it now as we get a free kick. Egan with the chance to shoot. Ah, oh, and Freeman. No, this is a bit of a goal map scramble. It comes to Germain, and he's scored the goal. It's 1-0 on the night. It's 4-1 on aggregate. Dare we dream. Dare we believe. Right, QPR with a chance to get straight back in it, and they've taken it. They've taken it. Johan Barbet has scored the goal to tie things up, just like in the first game. We've taken the lead. They've pulled us back. This is going to be a bit of a contest. It's not over yet. It's a bit early to be thinking. We can't get ahead of ourselves and think that we're already in the final. We've got to, we've got to, you know, play, take this game as it comes, take it seriously, make sure we win. Let's restore our lead. Germain nearly does it. By the way, uh, spoiler alert, but the other semi-finals already been played. It was Manchester City against Leicester. Surprise, surprise, Manchester City won, so they await in the final, which means the chances of actually winning this thing are pretty slim. But we've got to get to the final first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. One of these teams, Sheffield United or QPR, either Dodgy Gamer or Michelinio, one of us is going to be fed up to Manchester City. Okay, one more highlight before halftime, and it's QPR with the ball. They play one forward. Don't let them score now. It's a great save by Henderson. Oh, my Lord. The clearance nearly bounced in. We've seen that happen a few times on FM Touch this season. It's still not over yet as Manning takes a shot. Henderson putting in a star-studded performance here. A stellar performance to keep us in this going into halftime. I mean, if we went in 2-1 down, that could be disastrous. As it is, we go in 1-1. QPR probably edged it with those chances towards the end, to be honest. I'm just going to have a quick look. I mean, pff, the ball is not spending. It's pretty evenly spread around the pitch, um, I think, at the moment. Summary-wise, I mean, yes, uh, I'm looking at the wrong side here. Um, we've got Unas hasn't done a lot of passing. German's been caught offside a bit. McGoldrick hasn't really been invol uh, involved much. Henderson has actually had three mistakes. Um, Egan's not having a good game. I wish I could give them a team talk just to shout at them. I'm just going to tell the keeper to slow the pace down a bit. We're going to put on a little bit of time wasting. And we'll just see what that does for us. You know, we've got a two goal aggregate lead to protect. Anyway, it's QPR looking for an early goal in the second half. But now we've got the chance to break. McGoldrick with a beautiful ball straight into the path of Germain, who scores an absolute peach of a goal. Counter-attacking football, everyone. That's how you do it. Thank you. Thank you, boys. 2-1 on the night. That makes it 5-2 on aggregate QPR. Bit of a mountain to climb. They've got to score three goals to get back into this. Stranger things have happened in football. But with Germain in this kind of form, I think we uh, we stand a good chance. We've got, we've got to wait and see now. It's a bit of a waiting game. 
What's Michelinho thinking? What's he going to do for his substitutes? Oh, they're picking up yellows now. I think his boys are starting to get a bit frustrated. Here's Freeman. Can we put it beyond doubt? No, the header goes over. There's, you know, we're not there yet, of course. We're not there until the final whistle is blown, but we've put ourselves in a very strong position. I just wish we could play like this in the actual league. Uh, looks like uh, my opponent's paused. Has he? No, I thought he paused there to make substitutions. No, the clock's still ticking. I'm going to leave my substitutions a little bit late. We'll probably make one in a couple of minutes. We'll, we'll do them in little intervals. So I'm thinking, well, Flex had a really good game, but he's on a yellow. Um, should we bring Freeman off like we did in the first game? Let's do that. Uh, we'll put Quantro up there. We'll perhaps make him... Oh, he's actually better as a winger than a defensive winger. But we'll pull him back onto support nonetheless. And McBurney, I'm going to bring on for McGoldrick, because uh, McGoldrick did a beautiful job setting up that second goal. But McBurney did a good job coming on as a late sub in the first leg. So we're in approaching the final 10 minutes. Wembley is within touching distance. Let's see what we can do here. Final five minutes now. Does QPR get a chance here? And I think they've been given something. It's a penalty. Oh, some late drama. Just when you thought it was all over. There's a penalty. We had a penalty for Sheffield United in the first leg. It was saved. This one is not saved. QPR run off to celebrate. They don't pick the ball up and charge back up because, of course, the FM Touch is treating this like a one-off match. But it's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, we're going to kill some time with a substitute, I think, here. Yeah, here we go. It's time to make a time-wasting substitution. Norwood can come on for Lundstrom. Lundstrom actually hasn't been that effective today, and he's been booked. He's on a 6.4. Let's get him off. And we'll just try and ride out the last couple of minutes. I mean, we could afford to concede, and we'd still technically be the winners on aggregate. But it's a chance for a break here for QPR. They've got men up. They're sprinting up the pitch, but Baldock does his job beautifully. He's been a bit quiet in the second leg, but he does this job as a defender there. Henderson now launching one forward. Norwood knocks it forward to McBurney, but it's intercepted by the defence. There's, there's perhaps still a goal in this. We're going to have a dramatic highlight for the final minute. Germain goes through a last-ditch tackle, but that's perfect for us. It kills more time with the ball up at the wrong end of the pitch, as far as QPR are concerned. Um, the final whistle's going to go here. I'm sure then the actual game is going to go for um, probably into penalties or something, because this was set up as a one-off match. But this is going to be it when the whistle is blown. Um... Well done, Michelinio. You gave us a good game. I did worry at points in that first leg that you were going to come out of this on top. As it is um, on this occasion, we seem to have come out on top. There is going to be a chance here, it seems. <laughs> a yellow card. Maybe one last throw of the dice for QPR to salvage some pride with a consolation goal. Oh, I thought our guy was going to get himself a second yellow, needlessly there. There we go. Full time. 2-2 on the night. So do the maths quick. 5-3 on aggregate. Sheffield United go through to the final where we will play Manchester City. That final will be live on Twitch, apparently. Live on Twitch. So um, I'll make sure I tweet something out about that so you can join us. I'll see if I can get permission to record that one for the channel as well. But please do hit that like button if you've enjoyed today's semi-final victory. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Go and check out the FM Premier League. You'll find them on Twitter. Cookie FM is the man. And check out Michelinio as well, one of the bloggers in the Football Manager content creation community. Well worth checking out and following his work. Thanks again, Michelinio, for the game. I'm Dodgy Gamer, and I'll speak to you again soon.